So look, if you're a narrator, or maybe you want to become one, if you love reading, or maybe people simply tell you you have a great voice, and you've been wondering, how do I make money with this? How can I monetize my talent? Well, you're in luck, because in this video, I'm going to show you the top websites where you can get paid to read out loud as a narrator. But first, let's talk about why narration is such a lucrative opportunity right now. We are in the middle of what experts are calling the digital content revolution. And there are a bunch of people making as much as a lawyer or a doctor every month with no prior experience. And this is where narration comes in. Because the more demand for digital content rises, like online courses, tutorials, video content, audiobooks, the more demand for narration is skyrocketing. So look, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you don't want to be left behind. Probably because you also want to make money and take advantage of the digital content revolution. Now, what most people do is they jump straight in at the first opportunity that comes at them. And based on what I've seen, acx.com is the website that gets the most attention. Now, what if you decided that instead of jumping straight in, you would take a look and evaluate the different websites that exist out there and not waste your time, the little time that you have available, not just creating profiles on all of these websites, but also spending hours reading books that might never get picked up and for which you might never get paid. So why don't we do this together? Now, in my opinion, there are five metrics that are worth considering when evaluating this. Number one is reputation and credibility. You don't want to get connected or waste your time on any website that is not legit. So here we're looking at reputation, credibility, any scores or ratings that the websites will have gotten and any user reviews. Number two is user experience, because also who wants to waste their time on a platform that is really hard to use and you're gonna spend hours trying to figure out how to use it. So here we're evaluating ease of getting started, ease of navigation, and again, any user reviews and feedback about how it feels to use the website. Number three, book selection. Obviously, you want to choose a website that has as many books and genres available so that you have a multitude of options to choose from. So we're going to look at not only how many books the website offers and how many genres are available, but also if there's an opportunity for premium content or any kind of specific content. Number four, payment and compensation. Very important. You want to make sure that not only you get paid, but you get paid well. So we're going to look at the rate as well as when and how you get paid, as well as whether there is an opportunity to get bonuses or any type of incentives. And number five, support and community. You don't want to underestimate how important having the right support on a platform is. Trust me, when you get stuck, you want them to respond as quickly as possible because time is money, you don't wanna waste that. So we're gonna look at their the quality of support, at whether there is a community feature, at whether there are trainings, tutorials, and resources that are offered to make sure that you get started the right way and you can start making money as quickly as possible. So let's dive in. Let's look at the most known websites for narration and see which one do I recommend that you get started with. Okay, so let's start with acx.com and get this out of the way. acx.com is a website that is owned by Amazon, which gives it a lot of credibility, obviously. And not only that, but also on Trustpilot, it has received four out of five ratings. So we give it four out of five as well, particularly because of its connection with Amazon. In terms of the user experience, I'm gonna give it a four out of five as well, and here's why. In terms of ease of use and ease of getting started, that's definitely there, because essentially all you need to do is create a profile and upload a sample of your narration and you're good to go, you're ready to get started. However, when it comes to the overall interface, so the UI of the website, it's not necessarily super easy to navigate. It's not the hardest I've seen, but also not the easiest. And also, there are some glitches that I've read about, and that's the reason why I'm only giving it a four out of five in terms of user experience. On book selection though, I wish I could give it a six out of five, because obviously due to the connection with Amazon, there is a huge diversity and a huge number of books and genres that you can choose from, which gives you such a great opportunity to 
pick the genres and the types of books that you resonate with and that your voice fits with the most so that you have the highest chances to get picked or selected for that project and get paid for the narration that you've done. So on this one, definitely five out of five. When it comes to payment and compensation, acx.com allows you to set your own rates and that can be good or bad. Now, in terms of your experience, as well as the length of the project that you're working on, you can get paid more or less. And I've read about people making even $500 per hour of finished product. Now, obviously, it can take you a lot longer to finish one hour of reading, depending on your expertise, on your accent, and on the book itself. So I'm not stating that you are going to make $500 an hour. Most likely not, but because you can set your own rates, that definitely allows you to reach a level of compensation that would fit your expectations. Not only that, but acx.com will pay you for meeting a certain set of expectations. So if you get a good rating from the author, for example, they'll pay you more. Or if you finish the project, ahead of the deadline, they will pay you more. So they have all of these incentives to make sure that they get you excited about delivering great quality early or on time. So in terms of payment and compensation, I'm gonna give them a four out of five, not because they don't pay well, but because it's so intricate to figure out how much should you charge. Last but not least, the support and community. Now, in terms of support, there's both good and bad feedback that I've read about. So I'm not gonna give them a five out of five. However, they do offer a lot of tutorials, a lot of video trainings and a great community that you can not only ask questions to, but also get feedback from. So I think support and community wise, they deserve a four out of five. So overall, let's give them four and a half out of five. I don't think it's a bad website. I just think you need to know what you're getting yourself into. And it could be good for you as a beginner, particularly because of the selection of books that they have available. So you can start with shorter books, not to waste a lot of time before you start monetizing your narration skills. And then with time, you can start specializing on a certain author. If you can create that connection with the author on a certain genre of books or maybe a certain language if you decide to read in another language other than English. The second website that I suggest we look into today is Voices.com. And this is a platform that connects voice actors and voice talent with whoever is looking to hire for that. And since they've been around since 2003, they've won multiple awards. They're very, very uh, known in the industry. I'm gonna give them a five out of five for reputation. Also because on Trustpilot, they have a four and a half out of five rating. In terms of user experience, that's pretty straightforward as well. Five out of five, in my opinion. Nothing unexpected. Create your profile, upload your work, and you're good to go. Now, in terms of book selection, because this video is all about reading books out loud, I'm gonna give them a four out of five. And the reason why I'm doing this is because their book selection is not as wide as that of acx.com. However, they do have games that you could get selected for. Um, they do have other projects or commercials where you can get nominated or appointed in. So there are other options for you. However, I'm gonna give them only a four out of five. In terms of payment and compensation. This is a trickier one. So I've debated between giving them a three out of five and a four out of five, and here's why. They do have SurePay, which is a way to secure payments and make sure that you actually get paid for your work, which I think is amazing because everybody's looking for legit opportunities, right? However, they do take a commission from the money that you make. And it's not a surprise because obviously, Upwork does that as well, and many of these platforms do that. It's the way they monetize the community and the marketplace that they've created, so it makes sense. But as freelancer, as an actor, you don't want to see your money become less because the platform takes the commission. So I'm gonna give them a four out of five for payment and compensation. Last, in terms of support and community. Well, I'm gonna give them a four out of five here as well. Support happens by phone and by email, maybe, if they've watched 
<laughs> my previous video, they will get inspired and create a chatbot that can support their users in a different, more modern way. So in terms of support, it's there, but might not be the fastest. In terms of community, they do offer a forum where you can connect with other users and discuss and get feedback from one another. So overall, I'm gonna give them a four out of five as a platform. Do I think they're bad? Absolutely not. Do I think they're the best? Maybe not. Let's stay tuned for the next ones. Next one we need to talk about is Findaway Voices. And this one is a dedicated audiobook production and distribution company with its own website. So if we're looking for narrator opportunities, definitely Findaway Voices needs to be on the list. Now, in terms of reputation and credibility, I'm gonna give them a five out of five. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in the industry, they are known to have high quality products that they produce and distribute. And actually on Trustpilot, they have a 4.7 out of five rating. So in my opinion, five out of five. In terms of user experience and getting started, I'm gonna give them a five out of five as well. I don't think there is any difficulty in getting started with them. Again, create your profile, get started, you're good to go. In terms of book selection, I'm going to give them a five out of five. I'm going on a limb here, but because they are a dedicated audiobook company and they have their own production arm, let's say, I believe that they have huge potential. You will be able to find a lot of great books and great projects that you can work on. Not only that, but they do have premium and exclusive content as well. So I'm gonna give them five out of five for book selection. For payment and compensation, however, there are some um, aspects that they can improve on. So I'm gonna give them a three out of five for payment and compensation. Not because you won't get paid good, but also because they do take a commission out of your money hard earned on the projects that you've worked on. So I'm gonna give them three out of five. In terms of support and community, let's do four out of five just to be honest and keep the same rating as we had for voices.com because the situation is more or less the same. Their support also works via phone or email, still opportunity for improvement there, I'd say. And then in terms of community, they also have a forum. So not the best in the industry, but definitely good enough. So four out of five. And overall, in my opinion, I'm gonna give them a four, maybe 4.2 out of five. So definitely a strong contender when it comes to, you know, fighting against ACX.com. I think Findaway Voices has a lot of potential, but I think they need to look into their payment structure and um, payment security, as well as improve their support and community aspect because I think there's um, more to be done in that space. Number four is Bunny Studios. Funny name, right? Well, Bunny Studios is a platform that connects voice actors and voice talent, including narrators, with businesses that need this kind of support and services. They've been in the industry since 2012. They are known for high quality services and they've worked with some known writers. So because of that, I'm gonna give them a four out of five rating for reputation and credibility. I haven't been able to find any awards or nominations or any other ratings that Bunny Studios has gotten. So that's why I'm giving them a four out of five. In terms of user experience, nothing out of the ordinary here either. You can get started pretty straightforward, pretty easily. So I'm gonna give them a five out of five as well. When it comes to the book selection, Here's where I got a little bit disappointed and I'm gonna give them only three out of five. And that's because their focus is not audiobooks. So that means the number of projects that you can get on Bunny Studios is probably lower. So it will take some time until you get picked for a project or until your narration gets selected and probably also even longer until you find something that you resonate with and that you want to read for. So because of that, three out of five in terms of book selection. In terms of payment and compensation, uh, they do pay the artists based on their level of experience. And in terms of how they do that, they usually pay within five to seven days after the author approves the project via PayPal. So if PayPal does not work in your country, which I know some of you have flagged before, 
then maybe Bunny Studios won't be for you. So for payment and compensation, I'm gonna give them three and a half out of five. The reason why I'm debating is because they do have some incentives like ACX do. So they will pay you if you finish ahead of time, they will pay you for rush work. So they do have some incentives and that's why I don't feel good about giving them only three for payment and compensation. In terms of support and community, well, their support is not just email and phone. They do have a live chat as well, thank God. And in terms of community, they do have that option too. So I'm gonna give them a four out of five for support and community. Overall, Bunny Studios, I believe, 3.8 to 4 out of 5 in terms of overall rating. Last but not least, let's talk about voice productions. This is a smaller platform, not so well known in the industry. It does not have the same reputation and credibility as some of the others do. So for this side of our evaluation, I'm gonna give them only a 3 out of 5. In terms of user experience, again, not great. The onboarding process, signing up, creating a profile is not as straightforward as I've seen with the other platforms, it feels a little bit dated, to be honest. So again, here I'm gonna give them a two out of five for a user experience. In terms of book selection, because they're a smaller platform, I'm gonna give them a three out of five. They don't have as many options as some of the others. Do find away voices or let alone ACX. In terms of payment and compensation, I do like that they don't take a commission. So that's definitely a plus in my books, but they do also only pay via PayPal and it takes 10 to 15 days after the project gets approved until you get the money. So because of that, I'm gonna give them only a three out of five. And in terms of support and community, their support is obviously email and phone, but they don't have a community. So I'm gonna give them a two out of five here. So overall rating for voice productions is probably about three out of five. Definitely something that you don't want to ignore, but not the first one that I would send you to spend your time working with. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that this video helped you and gave you some ideas and some inspiration on how to go and make some money online, either as a side hustle or as an online job if you're looking for something like that, particularly if you love reading and if you feel comfortable reading for others as well. Until next time, I recommend you go ahead and watch this video over here. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.